Going into this one, they are still going to have to deal with double axe. They're still going to have to deal with a double legend pick. But it's going to be, of course, that Rayman coming out from West and Ven that we saw earlier. Going back to Fortress of Lions here. Okay, a very early start to this big damage. That's already 50 plus damage put on a sack very quickly. And Reaper. Ooh. Wes going real low there. Wanted to go for the edge guard. Neutral sit connects onto two. So Reaper's going to throw out Dude, more. Dude, he's really going out he there. He wants it. Fem can't find the oh hit. Oh my gosh. So that was really smart because he used some of his uh, just like attacks to get over there. So that meant that even though he was very low, he could use his vertical options like his jumps and his recoveries to get up and then side air back over to the wall after that. So it was a lot of in-air movement economy, like using it very smart and uh, in very efficient ways in order to still be a threat and then still get back and survive. The red team, man, they're looking really good here. Yeah, Strong start into this game, though. Uh, red team having that stock advantage. Still got to be nervous for Vem, though, because he's already taken a lot of damage on the second stock. 1v1 opportunity here against Sack, though, and not able to get the setup. Reaper with a side sig behind West will put him on the second stock. Going to strip the field there. We have double gauntlets for this blue team. Reaper, of course, throwing his spear away, then picking up that set of gauntlets. West, after the neutral air, is able to go back down to the main platform, pick up a set of his gauntlets as well. Ooh, the backside ended up making contact with West. A little bit of team damage there. Sack and a nice follow-up after it as well. Oh, man. Them, I guess, did not expect a, a follow-up. Oh, the recovery at the top of the map as well. Uh, because West had a setup there. He had both of them in the neutral light, and Vem just came in and was like, I'm going to side light everybody. Yep. Wes again searching for a weapon here. There is a spawn. Ended up again hitting the unarmed recovery. Last time it was a neutral air. Nice move in from them to dash in, hit the end light, and then get the full double knockout, fully wiping the blue team while also uh, kind of keeping uh, the pressure off of Wes for that moment after he got hit. All right, everybody on their final stocks. Pretty even looking match so far. Ooh. Wes is real high in the sky. He is getting knocked around. Now the blue team goes for the team combo, but Vem a little too high for that side sig from Sack. Good little punish on the landing there from Wes with the in light. Oh, the grab! Vem Tank Kilo happy that you can only pick up one person with that attack from Sack. Otherwise, what? he would have been gunned. One for one. Any okay, touches? we have. We have Vem Tankilo and we have Sack in the 1v1 here. Game one of Grand Finals. Gauntlets v Gauntlets. Now Vem swapping over to the axe. Dash jump dare, but it won't matter as Sack with the recovery gets game number one. Nice splitting of the responsibilities there. 437 and 495 damage coming out from the members of the blue team there. So very close on that. And Sack doing a good job of taking damage, too. Almost took 600 damage that game, so averaging almost 200 per stock before he finally fell. Man, here's Sack with that weapon toss. Wes, oh, man, yeah, he Sack. Tried. Dude, he tried, he tried to serve him up to them. Oh, he almost had it. That neutral air. If that made contact, that could have been huge because that would have given him, of course, a chase dodge after that, and then Wes probably could have saved him off of that. Would have been satisfying, but... We're going into game number two, Three, two stripping away the Dalsim. It's just going to be the Rayman and uh, uh, Evil Rayman. Evil Rayman. Evil Rayman, Rayman be like, no! <laughs> Here we go, game number two. Wes and Vem did get the W in the winner's final, but right now, like I've been saying, Sack and Reaper have so much momentum. Yeah, we'll see if Wes and Vem can kind of turn things around here. Maybe clean things up here just a little bit. That downer, Wes actually completely disengages. He's going to, again, put himself on that corner, do the classic Rayman move with the D-Sig. Sack is able to get back. Reaper and Sack are stacked right on top of each other. Double axes here. The D-Sigs are coming out, but none of them are hitting. Sack and Reaper, despite being stacked on each other on those reasonably small sidewalls, were able to get through it and survive. Yeah, they got past and are still finding hits. Wes fast falling to avoid that down sick. Them doing a really good job rotating over. And again, Reaper able to get the wall touch with the help of Sack. Okay, goes for the turnaround. Interesting option there. I thought he would have wanted to split the red team a little bit more there, but he eats the side air. Unfortunately, Vem wasn't able to oh, grab that neutral that after the neutral air from Wes. Dude, Sack just ran in there, hit the heavy <laughs> button, and knew he was going to hit a red team member. He's like, hey, it's a grab move. It's going to hit one of y'all. 
still though. West sitting on that first stock, going aggressive. Reaper gonna punish that recovery, hits the down air, stuffs it out, and now we're all on even stocks. I'm surprised West didn't recover there. Yeah. With Reaper, he just spot dodged right in the face of West. I'm surprised West didn't recover. It seemed like he, he like, one eye was on his opponent and one eye was on the weapon spawn, and he was like, what do I do here? I don't know. Yeah, and unfortunately, that, that inaction kind of really spelled disaster for him there. They might have been able to get something, or he might have been able to get to the weapon faster and turn that into a stock. But the game's still relatively even. Now about two minutes into this one, big side air. Take down Reaper. See if they can clean up Sack here. The dodge was burned. Oh. Okay. The power of the juggle, but the power of your axe circle. Gonna launch Vem, but it's gonna be Wes who falls. Weapon toss goes just below Vem. Nice down air into the D-Light. It wasn't even the grounded version of that down air. Wes waiting for the teammate. Jumped real high there, and now there's Vem on the respawn. And he's back in, he was able to grab a weapon very quickly. Both Rayman players stacked kind of one on top of each other. Now split just a little bit, but they are really maintaining that closeness so they can follow up off each other's gauntlet strings. All right, weapon swap coming out from Wes. Going for the bigger hits now. Throwing out the neutralized, nice. throwing out the recoveries. Wow. Sack. Now the most damaged in this game in the 1v2 and eats that side air from Vem Tanquilo, who takes the victory there, tying up this set 1-1. Dude, that Axe Neutralite from West, just gravity canceled, really just held the opponent in place for Sack to come in, or uh, for Vem Tanquilo to come in and hit that Axe side air. That was almost the overlap, the interruption from West. That's probably really what they needed there, rather than Vem's axe actually yeah. uh, him getting the hit in the first place. I, I don't know if they would have gotten the KO, maybe, but the fact that the dodge was already down so he could get that GC side light in the recovery. Yeah, you saw uh, Vem was coming up with that axe recovery, but West had the uh, the better option there in that, that situation. Here we go. Three, Game number two, three. One, Fortress Alliance ball. continues, and uh, once again, the double Rayman. Ooh, good opening from Vem. West started it off, and then Vem found like three more hits after that. The chase dodge through the turnaround D-Light. Dude, these axes, they're putting out so much damage so quickly here for this red team. The blue team struggling to get around these hitboxes. Side sig as West bounces over it, and in West, to get that turnaround side air, first stock goes in favor of the red team. Blue team was completely split in that moment. Sack. Could lose his stock here very quickly. They'd rather put like 50 to 60 damage on a Reaper in the span of three seconds than try and finish off this stock of Sack. They know they can eventually get that later. What a reaction from West there to spot dodge in the face of Sack, and Sack whiffs that down light. Neutral light comes out from Sack. West unarmed, still putting out damage. Nice from Sack, getting the sliding D-Light off the stage unarmed and still getting the KO and getting the full double KO right after that. Like Sack's survivability so far has been great this game. He's already found two KOs as well, but Reaper, he is in very much danger of losing the second stock. Yeah, gotta be careful. Almost sent off screen with that neutral light. That down light from them gonna finish off one and Wes sees the opportunity, hits the down air. Vem nice. with the coverage, and that will be a KO. See what they can do to Sack while Reaper is respawning. He's just going to go to that soft platform, try to play the vertical game, because vertical combos are very difficult compared to just like the standard sandwich. A little bit of target swapping coming out from them. Oh, Wes got launched in the blender, but he ended up getting out of that one. Yeah, Reaper, Weapon toss. Reaper ended up hitting the spear recovery, and that probably worked out best for the red team, even with that ground pound. Like, Vim's not too damaged whatsoever, so it's not going to send him flying, not going to send him off screen. And now Sack is in the 1v2. Not able to get the follow-up there. Just a down air. Not looking for any uh, clear-cut team combos. They're just going for damn What? All the way up there. The GCD SIG. And now the red team is up 2-1. They need one more victory to become your summer doubles champions for South America. That's... I, I'm a little flabbergasted at the GC downsig. It worked really well because it wasn't straight up and down. Like, it has a bit of a horizontal angle to it. So it ended up launching past the stage. 
But like, I think most sane people would have gone like, oh, neutral light, oh, gravity yeah. cancel, down light. Like something that launches a little bit to a closer KO box. You don't go for the down option yeah. when you're up <laughs> when, there. When you're that high, you don't go for the down <laughs> option. But uh, clearly, Wes had, uh, had it prepared. Or if you're looking for the down option, you'll throw out like a, a, a ground pound. So yeah. you have like those active frames there kind of spinning around. You don't have to be quite as uh, Three, as two, precise with it. One, but we're getting in to potentially the final game of this tournament for South America here at the Summer Doubles Championship. It's going to be Apocalypse for game number four. Once again, sticking with the character picks. Wes looking to pick up a weapon, was struggling for a moment there. Comes over, gets the down air. Vem doesn't have enough movement. Vem's oh, gonna fall. That's a very tough start for this red team. And Wes, Wes is down there as well. Wes is gonna fall too. Vem, get out. Okay, the neutral air at the top of the map, waiting for Wes to respawn, floats back down. Okay, not the end of the world, but definitely not a great start to the world for sure. If you were looking at finishing this with a game four, uh, you better put the, the gas pedal all the way to the floor. Yeah, you uh, need a very, fast car in this moment right now. Sack on the right side. Where's Tracy Chapman movement. when you need her? Who? She did fast car. Oh, okay. Side Sig gonna miss from Reaper. Ooh. Down Sig all right, from all West, of a sudden, though. Game state changing here a little bit. West is very damaged, so they could take away the stock, and all of a sudden it's four stocks to three, which is a much larger gap than what we have now. Nice instant neutral air from Vim. It's kind of Reaper spawned back in there right as his iframes went away. He was kind of running away, and all of a sudden those iframes were gone. Oh. West remember the neutral I end up Ooh. falling off stage. I was really worried they were gonna get more on sack yeah. there. I mean they're they're keeping the pressure up but at least it didn't extend into a, a much longer 2v1 combo. They're doing a really, really good job of chipping away at the lead that the blue team had yeah. built for themselves. Recovery's still not quite enough. And they're spreading it out evenly too. They're like, oh, Sack, you're in front of me. Here's two for you. All of a sudden, Reaper's here. Here's two for you, brother. Oh, oh my him. gosh. Huge save. Needed that in that moment. Even that recovery from Reaper off the soft platform wasn't enough to KO. All right. Vim Tanquilo now Punish. on final stock. Okay, worth it. Reaper has enough movement. Once again, blue team has that lead, but it's definitely been minimized. We're either headed to a game five or a gold medal for Wes and Vim Tanquilo, and we have a very even final stocks apiece game here, Duke. Vem in the yellow, just a little bit more damage than anybody else. Everybody's got a weapon. Side light comes in. Oh, Sat coming down, wanted that fastball down there. Ooh, oh, the wake up. So oh, dude, they're so trying. Hard. They're trying so hard. Both of them, all of them. Really, Sack was there. Two, so three of them. And Sig on the follow up. Them taking a lot of damage. Sidelight recovery. Yup. Reaper! Ooh. Dude. Wes went for the neutral air. It doesn't have enough variable Buff force axe. to send up the top. The D Sig. Dude, everybody's so red. Oh. The recovery still not enough on the top. Oh, my gosh. Sack unarmed, same with Vem, but Sack's got the stage control. Oh, Down like it. ground pound. Can they get the 1v2 combo that they need? There's the setup, there's the KO. We're going to game five. Reaper and Sack coming through big time in the end there, especially Reaper putting out 527 damage compared to Sack's 328. You know it's summertime because that big time rush coming out from the blue team to give them a game Five. Now they're playing for the reset. Dude, it's so brutal because think about how that game started, yeah. dude. They that was Wes and Vim's game 100%. If they didn't throw away both of their stocks so early on, that's so tough. Oh, wow. Okay. Suzaku game five. Castle. They're like, yeah, let's, you know what? Uh, let's press the Suzaku Castle button. They want to scrap. They want to get in, tight knit. Use the hitboxes, use those signatures. Signature usage has definitely been more successful from the blue team, mostly Reaper, but Sack as well. Oh man, Reaper already getting put off screen with that axe recovery. Okay, side air. West, target swapping, launches both towards Reaper, but Reaper not able to find a hit. Did get the wall touch, but Vem gonna make That's sure it. that it's a trade one for one. And Sack is not gonna push too hard off stage. He's like, okay, we each got one. I see where you are, you see where I am. Let's just kinda, hey, let's just kinda stay away from each other, all right? We can just rest for this moment. You stay on your side of the room, I stay on mine. Fist bumps abound, but it is Sack who takes down Vem's 
first stock. Sack still holding on to the lead for the team. Ooh, not for long. <laughs> Both of them are figuring out like, all right, who wants to go to the, who wants to go forward and do D sig? You're down sig. My down sig. Mine's quick. Yours lingers a little bit longer. So uh, who, whose turn is it? Okay, Nair. But Wes already put Sack into a hit stun. Now, red team's just a little bit in the lead here. We, I feel like we've been hearing a lot of whiffs yeah. until that neutral line. Uh -oh. All of a sudden, oh, blue team, both of them are over us. on the left side. That's one stock. Nice. Oh, oh, that's not helpful. Oh, yeah. that's even worse. Reaper is the only one sitting on the second stock. Wes and Vem kind of taking themselves out in that moment. But yeah, I think they were just like basically done anyway. So it's like any hit that you can get, we're already done. So maybe we'll get a lucky hit and you can get something off of that. I think it started with like that GCD light that didn't hit could have saved. I can't remember who did it, whether it was Wes or Vim that did it. But if it was just a little bit, I believe, later, then it would have hit and sent the other red team member like back towards the stage. And I think none of that would have ended up happening. Well, here we are. Final stocks. Game number five. Sack in the red. This is the determiner. A sack gets taken out on the left side. It's all left to Reaper. Can he get the reset? Oh, didn't read right. That's a burn dodge as well. Wow, they weren't Easy able to punish, punish the landing, but they got him now. A little bit slow on that neutral signature coming out from them after West served him up. Going for the juggle game with these Axe neutral airs, trying to punish the landing with the end light, then the anti-air of the D light. He's getting sent off screen. It's one more and he's got to be done. It's adding up. The down light's connecting. There's a neutral light and Reaper can't punish. Wes and Vem Tenkilo are going to be your summer doubles champions for South America. Adding yet another gold medal to their trophy case here in South America. They won spring doubles like you mentioned earlier, and now they won the first event of the summer circuit here at the Summer Doubles Championship. We're just waiting for that.